All right, welcome back, class. This is Unit 7, Lesson 7, Equations with Integers. Uh, and right at the beginning here, we have some review. This goes back to yesterday's lesson where we're doing inverse operations to solve for x. So we want to isolate x. We want to know what x is. It's an unknown quantity right now. So in this first case, when we have 3x minus 6 equals 9, we have to do the inverse operation. So we have to add 6 to both sides. So now when we add 6, that simplifies, so all we're left with is 3x equals 15. Now we can divide both sides by 3 again, or you can multiply by the reciprocal, which would be 1 third. And then we have x equals 5. So this is some review for each of these. This next case, we're going to subtract 4 from both sides. That's going to be that first step. Then we're left with negative 2x equals negative 12. When we add those terms, we're going to add them together. Negative 8 plus a negative 4. Then we can divide by negative 2 because it's a product. So the inverse will be to divide both sides by negative 2. So then x equals, and now it's a negative divided by a negative. So that'll be a positive 6. Finally, this last one, you will need to use the reciprocal. The reciprocal is going to be 3 divided by 2. And you, what you do to the left, you must also do to the right side. So then on the right, this simplifies. So we're left with x equals, and we're going to multiply straight across in the top and the bottom. So that becomes 18 divided by 2, which we can simplify to just 9. So that's how you'll take those steps to work through solving equations. Um, now we have some rules for working with integers. Um, so for adding and subtracting up here, subtraction is the same thing as adding the opposite. So that could be a case where it's like 10 minus 3 equals 10 plus a negative 3. These are the same things. They both become 7. And we have practiced that. The next one is going to be when adding two numbers with the same sign, the sign on the answer is always the same. So that's both positive and negative. If we have 4 plus 5, those are both positive, we get 9. And if we have something like negative 3 plus a negative 2, the signs are the same. When we add them together, we add our integers and keep our sign. It's now negative 5. When the signs are different, however, the sign of the answer depends on the value in the problem. So if we have something like 6, plus a negative 7, which one is bigger? 7 is, so that means a sign is going to be negative, and then the difference between them is negative 1. So that's what uh, is the factor for um, whether the sign is going to be positive or negative. And then with multiplication and division we have some rules, so like the pass rule. So when we have uh, a positive number times another positive number. These are both positive twos. We get a positive product or answer. Um, the same then goes if we have a negative times a negative, then our answer will be negative. No, excuse me, our answer will be positive. <laughs> See, I wasn't even thinking about what I was doing. A negative times a negative or a positive times a positive will give us a positive answer. When an odd number of negative numbers are multiplied or divided, the answer is negative. So that could be just, you know, one number, negative one, that answer is negative. Or if we have a string of negative numbers, like negative two times negative one times negative five, we have three, which is odd, three numbers here. So when we multiply, we get negative two times negative one, which is two times negative 5. So now we have a positive times a negative. That then is a negative 10. So that's why an odd number of negative numbers, the answer will be negative. When an even number of negatives are being multiplied or divided, the answer is positive. So we could look at it with, um, let's see, negative 4 times negative 2 times negative 3 times negative 1. We can do these two because again, like this, where multiplication is commutative, so the first two, negative 4 times negative 2 is 8 times negative 3 times negative 1 is a positive 3. Now we have a positive times a positive, and that's 24. 
So that's how that works. And again, the same then goes for um, division up here and then also multiplication in this case. Um, review integer operations. So this is review back, um, let's see, to unit five, I believe. So this should look for familiar. This is a difference. And the negative number is greater than, so that's a negative five. Uh, now our signs are the same. So we're going to add them together and keep our sign. So 10 plus 7 is negative 17, and then we keep our sign. I don't like the way that looks. 17. Uh, a difference. Now my positive number is bigger, so this is a positive 6. We can rewrite this next one, D, negative 5 minus 9 as negative 5 plus a negative 9. Now my signs are the same and we're adding, so it's more clearly going to keep the same sign. Okay, now we're multiplying here. Four times a negative six. Different signs when multiplying means a negative product. And four times six is 24. A negative times a negative will be positive. And six times nine is 54. So that's the way you should work through these. Two times four, it's positive times positive. What is two times four? It's eight. Let's look at this next one. Now we have a string of multiplication. Multiplication is associative and a commutative, so you could do this in any order you want. I'm gonna do the two negatives first. Negative times a negative is gonna be positive. Five times four is 20 times 10. 20 times 10, that's a big number. That's gonna be 200 and it's positive. Use the rules for integers to solve the equation. So. We want to add like terms and do what we did up here as review to then solve for x. So first, we're going to add like terms. So I see some like terms on the x, negative 3 minus 2. When we add those together, that becomes x plus a negative 5 equals 8. Now we can see we're at my one step where we need to add 5 to both sides. So we're adding 5. You see now that on the left, those simplify and we're left with x equals 13. So those are the steps we'll want to take, like this one. Some like terms that we can simplify on the right first. So let's simplify them. Negative 5x equals negative 25 minus 5 is the same thing as negative 25 plus a negative 5. So we're adding with the same sign. So that's negative 30. Now I can divide both sides by negative 5. That because each side is simplified. So when I divide both sides by negative 5, I'm left with x on the left, and on the right, we have a negative divided by a negative, and 30 divided by 5 is 6. These are the steps you're going to want to take. All right, some more like terms. Now I have some x's that have the same sign. So let's combine those. This is a difference. It's going to be negative because the negative 6 is bigger. That's negative 4x. Then I have these like terms that I can combine. They're both positive. So plus 7 equals 15. Now I can do my inverse operations to solve for x. I'm first going to subtract 7 from both sides. So then I have what's left is negative 4x equals 15 minus 7 which is 8 now since I have a product I can do the inverse which is dividing so I'm going to divide both sides by negative 4 so that becomes 1x or just x equals positive divided by a negative is going to be a negative 2 let's do it again combine like terms so I have some like terms here that I can combine. The same sign, so when I add them together, we're going to keep our sign, which is negative 9 plus 1 third x equals negative 2. When we have a negative like this, the inverse operation is going to be to add 9 to both sides. So then we have 1 third x equals, this is a difference, and my positive sign is greater than 7. Now I need to do my reciprocal. It's 1 third x equals 7. So the reciprocal is going to be 3 over 1 times that, and then 3 over 1 times 7. 
Well, on the left, this simplifies to just x, and on the right, it becomes 7 times 3 over 1. 7 times 3 is 21, and we don't even need to write over 1 because that's the same as just 21. So let's simplify this one first. Let's do that. This will now be 3x plus a negative 4. Uh, add the opposite. So now we're adding 4 plus 2x equals negative 15. Now we can combine like terms. So I see a 3x plus 2x. So that's 5x. And then I also see a 4 plus a negative 4. So look at that. Those are additive inverses. These simplify to just 0. So we have 5x equals negative 15. My next step, my next inverse operation is going to be to divide both sides by 5. So then that simplifies, so I'm left with x equals a negative divided by a positive is negative, and 15 divided by 5 is 3. So that's the answer to that one. Let's do the same here where we simplify. First I'm going to rewrite it. So 3 squared plus x Okay, we're subtracting a negative, so that's adding the opposite. So now it's plus 2 plus a negative 4x equals 14. Now I can simplify some, some stuff. So in order of operations, I'm going to want to do exponent first. So 3 squared is the same as 3 times 3. So that becomes 9 plus x plus 2 plus a negative 4x equals 14. Now I can combine like terms. So... I see an x plus a negative 4x, so that looks like negative 3x to me, because we're looking for the difference. This is the same as negative 1 times x. Now I can combine my integers or my constants. They're both positive, so we can add them together. That's now 9 plus 2, which is 11, equals 14. Now for my inverse operation, this is a familiar step. We're getting to a familiar place always. It is plus 11, so my inverse is going to be to subtract 11 or add a negative 11 to both sides. Either way, it's the same thing. On the left, these will simplify, and we're left with negative 3x equals, this is a difference, it's 14 plus a negative 11, that'll be just 3. So to get x by itself, now we need to divide both sides by negative 3. These now simplify, so we're left with x equals a positive divided by is negative, and 3 divided by 3 is going to be 1. So we have x equals negative 1. All right, and then there's a few for you to try. Let me know if you have any questions. Be sure to take your time and show your work through the steps. That's what we're practicing here because there's a lot of steps going on at this point. So otherwise, that should be it. Email me with questions, and I'll see you later.